In today's video, we're going to learn how to create brutal forehand volleys. Let's do it. In this video, I will go through six instant tips to give you a forehand volley that is a nightmare for your opponents to return. Tip number one is the swing tip. And the biggest key with this is to have a really short swing. I always like to say is that you have a short swing, but then you have a big finish. So when you're preparing for the volley, I wouldn't come back any further than this, and I wouldn't be swinging like this either. I'd be here to there, and then finish like here. You need a short swing in paddle because the balls come at you very quick, and you often don't have a lot of time to react. It's really hard to get your timing right if you have a really big swing. It also helps with disguise as well. People can tell that you're gonna hit the ball really hard if you do a massive swing. Whereas when I'm short, I can either play slow or speed up and play really fast. The biggest key to remember is that your power will come from the finish. There's no benefit of having a bigger swing because you still get the same power from short or big. So you might as well go short. Tip number two is the preparation tip. And this is all about getting that racket up as early as possible, but not just getting up early, but also holding it there. The best players, when they play this forehand volley, this attacking forehand volley, there's almost like a little pause and a little freeze when they're about to hit the ball. And as soon as that ball comes in, they turn, their racket's up ready and they're holding, they're holding. And then when the timing's right, then they go for it. This doesn't just go for the forehand volley, this is the same on the backhand, especially in particular on the overheads like the bandeka and the vibra. As soon as that ball comes in, you get that racket up ready and then, again like we said earlier, your timing will be so much better. Tip number three is the rotation tip. So, in order to create a brutal forehand volley, we have to have good rotation. So many players stand square on with their volley, and I hit in like this. And as soon as that ball comes in, I prepare, but I also turn. So this left shoulder has to come right the way across here. Left foot comes across as well. So I'm turning there, nice and compact. The left arm also comes across as well. And then as I hit the ball, I then rotate. This is where my power comes in. So a lot of people struggle without the big swing to generate power. And that's because they don't do a good finish, but also they don't rotate as they hit. This is particularly effective when you're on this left side here and then you play it towards the left corner of the court because you can really rotate as you hit. And you'll notice that when you play towards that corner, you'll get loads of spin, but also tons of power from that rotation. This leads me perfectly onto tip number four, which is the body position tip. So there's two parts to this tip. First of all, gotta be nice and compact when we're playing. And the next thing is what I do with this left arm. Your left arm should kind of follow the right. So we said earlier, it comes across like this. Then as I play the shot, it should come back across my body like this. There. Ugh. Before we go into the most important tip, guys, make sure to check out my online paddle store. I have the brand new 2024 ranges for Knox, Ball Paddle, and Adidas in stock. Watch the next tip and then get onto everything paddle. Tip number five is called the finish tip. So first of all, so many players, when they play their forehand volley, will come over the ball like this. That's not gonna work because you'll actually end up generating top spin. A lot of other players will just sort of play the shot and that's fine, but we wanna create those brutal forehand volleys. I get in my preparation and as I come through, I'm gonna finish like this with my racket facing up. That's gonna help me generate loads of spin as I lead slightly with my racket face open, brush down on the ball, and then as I come through, I finish like this. The faster you manage to go from here to here, the more speed and spin you're gonna get on the ball. After you've hit that forehand volley, have a look at where your racket has ended up and hopefully it will have ended up across you like this and not either out in front or over like this. The final tip for these brutal forehand volleys is called the power tip. Make sure that you prioritize your technique, your shape, your cut and your spin over power. So many people learn these volleys and then they go into a game and their volleys just look like this. And it's not really the technique and they just ended up hitting it hard. Having said that, you still on this volley would hit this one a little bit harder. So for your average forehand volley, you probably play it maybe 50, 60% power. Whereas this one, I'd be pushing more towards 80% power. So you keep your technique, you keep your shape, you keep your spin, but 
I will be hitting it that little bit harder. The question is, how do I get more power on my forehand volley? First of all, we've got to play it with good technique. Secondly, we make sure we have the short swing, but big finish. Then we have the rotation as well. And also we have our body slightly over the ball and our body going into the ball as we hit. Here. And I'm going forward as I play. Now combining all of the tips together, here is the forehand volley in action. And as you can see, it dies on the glass. And this was with new balls in dry conditions. It's so hard for Harry to defend. 